Go. We're on. Hillary's. The forecast was meant to be pretty flat, calm. It looks like the southwesterly in the morning. It will turn, but still, mate, it's a bit choppy out here. And it's just hard to see. Now the lights come up a bit more. Anyway, so we are going for the Mersals, and I will say I will be trying for a snapper. Uh, maybe to my side, I don't have a catch on, but I want to give it a shot. The wind's a bit too big, but you never know. I'll just have to do what I have to do to catch a fish. Okay, so right away, I've already got some pilchards and old breadcrumbs pieces I've already pre-chopped off so I don't waste any time here I'll just probably use a little bit just in case it gets dissipated too quickly because I'm just drifting at the moment I really don't want to anchor yet um, So that's it, that's the burley So I've just got a pilchard, half a pilchard on a pretty decent sized hook here, unweighted. I can see already a few fish, there could be some bait fish hanging around the burley. I'll just cast it out here. I am drifted so I have to let line out, I might do a free spool. Keep an eye on it. So I'm just going to use a bit of a squid, half a squid head. We are in like 16 metres, it is rocky and uh, nice big snapper sinker. Yeah, drifting in these, in these depths, it's not ideal for unweighted muleys. First fish, don't expect to be too big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, it's a wrasse. There you go. Good for a big hook too, surprised. I will keep this one. A couple of fillets for the bait. Why not? Alright, let's move. Get some serious about it. Right, so I've decided to anchor up. I've got a sand patch right here, and there's a big reef system here. I'm only in 12 metres. Uh, I was worried I was going to get snagged on the reef, but you know. Burn it up, unweighted pillies. <laughs> Let's see how we do it. Alright, so first fish, it's not that big, could be a reefy. Oh, yeah. She's a decent roofy. <laughs> there you go. So, I don't know where the big fish are, and the sound is just lit up. I don't know, small fish maybe, I'll have a quick show you. Yeah, probably can't see, but I think I'm, I think I'm actually dragging the anchor because uh, my line just sort of getting stuck under the boat. So we're on. Oh, I think he's come off. I oh, know, he's on. You beauty, he's right under the boat. That's not a big. Oh, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> Good. I'll take that. Nice, juicy skippy. About time. Um, yeah, no, that's good. It's just been pretty, pretty lean out here at the moment. But I mean, I'm glad I got something respectable. It's a good size skippy, and I'm happy. 
because I saw a big school on the on the sound of there going up, but I'm happy with that. Nice chunky, uh, it's not that great, big one, it's a size one, but I'm happy. That's it. So guys, not much has really been happy. Weather forecast I got wrong again, it's just been blowing a southwesterly all morning. It's good to glass off it. No chance. I'll still head off over there and drift with some big baits. But um <laughs> Until then, I'll just keep on getting bashed around. Just trying to chase some small fish. I've got that sensational how it feels to catch a fish. Right. Bit of jury baits, I reckon. So this was giving me a bit of curry. On light gear, and I won. I got, I got two. Yeah. Oh, okay, I got a leather jacket. Big one, even. Oh, and uh, another reef fish. Now, these are the leather jackets. Are actually, quite good. It's a new species. Similar, it's like a rat, definitely this guy though. There you go. That's a, not a bad leather jacket or trigger fish. I'll measure them up, I don't know if they're size, I think there are size limits. Give me a minute. Okay, so this one here went 30 and the size limit is 25, so he's going in the bag. Awesome. Anyway, I've pulled up anchor, I'm going to move out a bit more, but uh, yeah, look at these conditions, it always happens. I said it's going to be nice and glassy, southwesty, 5 o'clock in the morning. So I'm just going to go in a bit deeper and just drift really, bottom bounce, if I catch anything else, so be it. Always good to be out here though. I got that bloody forecast wrong. Light winds, easily. All right, so I'm out here, drifting, sea anchor, big sinker, 26 meters. Let's get some fish on board. I've got a bloke text to me going, "Oh mate, you should have gone two rocks. Jewies all over the place." No, oh, no, I should have done more. Got a bit of a dead weight here. Alright. Oh that's a that's a nice looking goat fish. Just look at the colours on that. Now I've caught these before and they are quite delicious. Just an unbelievable colour on that. Oh he's going in the bag too. Oh, so, so first drop, I must have gone a bit deeper. I think I'm over the coral ground, I'm not too sure. So it just took off. It is light line, so I don't expect anything too big. I really hope it's King George. Oh, uh, okay, what's that? Okay, it's a new species. Um, I'll untangle them and see what's going on. A nice little reef fish. Don't know what it is, but I'll uh, see if I can do some research about it. Alright, so we just moved over to another spot and I saw just that activity. Looks good. So I'm going to be drifting. Same kind of bait. I've got another second. Had an Oster rig, getting a bit excited now. Right, two, two hooks, bottom bouncing in 30 metres, 27 metres. Here we go. Okay, it was heavy. Me. That's 
a huge flathead. Woo! Oh man! Do not expect flathead out here, but uh, I'll take that. Well, that's a nice flatty. Woo! 50, but that's still that's a fine specimen there. <laughs> All right, so something heavy here. Medium drag. Right. Oh, okay, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> now that's, um, now I know I'm on the reef. That there is spiky. They're actually quite edible. Very nice eating they are. But, um, yeah, those spines are quite, are quite, uh, they don't look very, uh, yeah, they look pretty nasty. So, but there. Yeah. How about that? They make a real nice soup, these kind of rockfish or cods. So that's interesting. Another species. Nice. There you go. Okay, people, it's time to get out of here. Caught those reef fish. I'll show you the catch when I get them all closer in the shore or even at home. Definitely do a catch and cook because uh, I scored a feed. I did fail miserably. Miserably. Because I didn't catch any squid. Otherwise, mate, feeds the feet and I'm happy. So I'm actually trolling and it just took off on the way back. I thought it was weed, but it's really... I will not have a clue. That is awesome, it just went off like a demon. Could be a tuna. Could be a kingy. Could be a Spanish mackerel. I don't know. There. It took out a lot of line. A lot of line. Yeah, a lot of head shakes. I think I'm doing a lot of head shakes at the moment. Ooh, bug it. Now hopefully, he's more tired than I am. Yeah, feels like a decent fish. No, hey, Mick. Let's get there. Oh. Oh yeah, there you go. So it's definitely a, a decent fish. Could be a Spanish mackerel. Oh, it's going around the boat. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, I can see the colour. Half decent. Oh my god. It's it's long. Woohoo! <laughs> I think it's a tuna. I take the tuna, that's what I do. I go down the bottom. Whew. Really nice colour. Really giving me curry. Woo. He 
reach this point, get up. It doesn't like it. It's gonna make another run. Come on. There he is. Oh, fuck. He's just gone. <laughs> Actually got him up to the lead up. Come on, man. Yeah, it's definitely a tuna. He's a big one too. I actually got him on the on the side. Oh, oh. there he is. Come on. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> Mate, what a fight! I actually foul hooked him on the side. And he's actually got a lot of stripes. Oh my, look at those colours. Beautiful fish. So this guy here, <laughs> what a way to sign off the day. <laughs> I get the pliers, take them out. I can purge myself. Woo! <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually shaking. The adrenaline's probably a bit too much. That's a fine specimen. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> he just whacked me tit. Oh man, right on the nipple. Okay, buddy. So, <laughs> now he's got stripes. Big deal. But what I saw was this really be beautiful blue hue around the side here of the, of the fish. Now, I'll find out. This could be a Mackey, a Mac tuna. Um, but yeah, I'll keep him because he's got injured on the side here, right here, and uh, what a way to finish the day, woohoo, love it, <laughs> how about that, I was just trying in the port, minding my own business, I was actually cruising pretty fast, about eight, nine, eight knots, I did notice some surface weed, and I thought the Lord just actually just grabbed it, you know, just accumulated a bit of weed, and but a bing mate, he went off. <laughs> I really thought it was a Spanish mackerel. But I mean, if it was, I didn't want to know about it because I'm pretty bugging. Anyway, so heading back in the port. I just got to watch out because it's pretty shallow and it's pretty swelly. You never know. I'll get another one. So I've already sculled them and gutted all these fish <clears throat> but for the sake of time as well as how much we can consume in one episode I will be cooking up this fish. Now this fish is a prize catch apparently. One of my subscribers, um, you know who you are, it's his name Merz. He identified this for me, it's a fox fish, very good eating, white flesh. Um, I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to cook it whole and I'll probably bake it with the herbs and spices. Nice and simple. I just want to appreciate the actual true flavours of this fish. But that's a prize catch, apparently, a fox fish found amongst the reefs. So I was in the right zone to catch the jewies, um, but uh, I just came up with a little consolation instead. Parsley, really good local garlic, chilli. And just a little bit of ginger. Oh, also salt, which I'll put in later on. 
I put it past in the in the body and a bit of around here. Just crush the garlic, nothing too fancy. Chili. Don't know why I'm using chili. Tooks. At the same time, I'll put in this flat, um, this uh, leather jacket. Right. To skin it, basically, you put your knife through the flesh and the body. Just pry it open. Once you got that bit, it should just all strip off by itself. This fish. Oh yes, it's just flaking off nice and easy. Probably overcooked it. Oh, that's very delightful. Very easy to come off the bone. Well, right. yummy. Mmm. It's like um, wouldn't say it's as firm as a barramundi, but probably like an emperor. Really nice fish. Oops. Mmm. That was really nice. Doesn't look very nice cooked up, but who cares? This is the leather jacket. Again, I was saying it's another white meat. A bit more firmer. Sorry about my hands, but that's how it is. There we go. A few bones in here. Very nice. This is far better than that. But um, anyway, it's great to experiment in different species. I'm so glad I caught this fox fish. Leather jacket, caught a whole heap of others. That's all I'm going to eat today. See you next time. Take it easy. Make sure you subscribe and like it and give us a comment. Take it easy. Tom my petite. Really nice. Fish, taka. Fish, taka. Fish Tucker man Fish Tucker Fish Tucker The Fish Tucker man